Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Al Lewis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do something with a Halloween theme. I want to make a scary ghost. We'll use our imaginations tonight. I figured I want to make him with these big arms and claws and then I want to make him with the big teeth to make them a little scarier than your regular average ghost. I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's this oil-based clay such as this, which I used to use all the time as a kid. And it's a great clay. Once I got bored with it, I make a bunch of animals or figurines, and then I, when I get tired, of them, then I just roll them up into the ball and then make something new. Another type of clay that you can use is this air hardening clay, which hards, hardens in a couple of hours or overnight. And uh, what's great about this is then you can paint it because it'll be permanent. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the regular home oven at 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it. The amount of detail you can make is, is it's really great. I'll show you the size balls of clay that we'll be using tonight. We're going to be using this size ball of clay for the actual ghost. And then these two smaller balls here we'll be using for the arms. And then, uh, and then I also will have some sculpting tools here that we'll be using. This, we have this triangular one right here. You see it has a nice triangular head. And then we have the round one, and this is where I will use to carve out the eyes and the mouth. The first thing we'll do is proceed to make the body. So what we want to do is make from the head down to, you know, this piece right here, the head on down to here, and then we'll worry about the arms and the claws afterward. We'll take this ball of clay here and take and bring it, put it in your hand like this, and squeeze it. See, I'm squeezing it. You almost squeeze it into like a, a potato shape now, and just keep squeezing. It. And then what I'm going to do is start to round off, see I'm starting to round off the head, just do that, very simple, and then on the bottom, what I want to do is I actually want to tap this on the table in a minute, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to tap this on the table, we want to flatten it out. See, like that, and then we'll continue to, what I want to do now is I want to kind of smooth this out also. See, I'm taking my hand and smoothing this out. Just go like that. Just smooth it out nicely. Just like that. I'm taking my thumb and just going down. Smoothing it out. And then what I want to do is put this back on the table again and just kind of push. See, I'm kind of pushing that down towards the table a little bit. See, I'm taking my fingers and kind of pushing that down. Just like that. And so now. See, we have that basic shape. We have the shape that we want. And now what I want to do is, because this clay is thick, I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to take the sculpting tool, and I want to make a small hole in the bottom like this. Take this and just make a hole like this. Push it in. This way the, the clay won't crack when it's being fired in the oven. So I would push it in about that deep to make the hole. And now we'll proceed to make the arms. I'm going to take this ball of clay here and just start to pull this out. See, I'm pulling that out. And we're going to make the claws and the fingers. So what we'll do, see this here? You just take your fingers and you kind of pinch out. See I'm pulling that up? Just like that. 
them do that and we'll do the third piece see I'm doing that pulling that creating that third finger just like that and now that we've done that what I want to do Now we want to make the sharp, like a sharp pointy claw here. So you take your fingers between you, going back and forth like that. See how I created that, what appears to be like a sharp claw? And we'll do the same thing with, on this side. You pinch it this way, and then, see how we did that? And then we'll do the same thing here. Just like that. So now what I want to do is we'll try to make it look like an arm. See, I'm squeezing that. And this is almost like, see how it almost like has a little elbow here? We want to create that. And then what I want to do is flatten this out here like this. Because this is the piece that's going to go up against the side of the body of the ghost. See how I'm doing that? Create it like that. And then what I want to do is I'll proceed to make the other one. So I'll show you. How we'll do the exact same process again. See I'm taking, pulling that up. Just like that. And then we want to make those fingers and claws again. So see, I'm just kind of squeezing that back and forth, pulling it upward. And then we'll proceed to do the second one, the same way. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. And then I'll take some of this clay and I'm kind of pushing it up this way. So we can create that third finger or claw. So so now what we'll do, now that we've done that, we'll start to make the claw. See, I'm going both sides. And I'm making that the claw. I'm going to curve it a little bit. See how I just did that? I'll rotate it so you can see it. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Bring it to a nice point. And then we'll do the, the last and final finger. We'll see how we're just working that. So now I want to take, we'll make that into the arm for the other side. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. Just make sure that these, what I want to do is make sure these are approximately the same size. If the, the proportion is a little off, don't worry about it. Now what we want to do is we want to attach this to the side of the ghost. See how I'm doing this? Attach this. So then what I would do is take this and attach it. See how I'm kneading the clay up against, pushing the clay up against the body of the ghost. I'm going to go all the way around and do that like I'm doing there, that way. And then what I want to also do is take the sculpting tool here, and I want to push some of the clay in this way. See, I'm pushing this here like this. 
That way it, it, you attach it from that side. See how I did that? And now we'll proceed to do the other arm. And I'll attach that right about here. I want to make sure they're approximately in the same location. See, I'm taking and kneading that, pushing that clay up against the body of the ghost. And now we're going to proceed to take this and push it in here. See how I'm doing that? We want to make sure that it's attached on the inside like that too. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to take one of these fingers and kind of curl it down a little bit. And see I'm positioning that. And then like that. The next thing that I want to do is I want to make the eyes. I'm going to take this round sculpting tool here. See how it is the round tip? I'm going to take this now and I'm going to take this. See how I'm doing this? I'm going to go right in here like this. And I just made one of the eyes. Now I'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. So I'll go over here. See how that is. I'll try to, ah, every now and then you can drop things. We'll take this and we'll scoop that piece of clay out. What I like about this, I have his eyes a little crooked, and I think it makes it look a little better. And then what we want to do is we want to make the, start making the mouth. So what I want to do is make some teeth. So I'm going to take this triangular one, and we're just going to go like so. See how I'm doing this? Then I'll just try to make one more tooth here. So what we can do now is, is kind of pull those out now. So now I'll pull, try to pull this down a little bit. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take this piece here now. And see how I'm doing that? Go straight across and take that excess clay out. We'll fix the teeth in a minute. I'll just take a little bit more out here on this side. And one of the things I forgot to put on tonight was my glasses, so I'll just take those quickly now and put them on so I can see a little more of the detail. What I'm going to do is clean up these teeth a little bit, try to make them pointy again. A 
We'll use the same technique that we did for the claws. And I just want to take and I make the jaw a little wider here. And then what I want to do is some of this clay that we've taken out, I actually want to make a couple of teeth. So we'll take this, I'm going to take, make a couple of little teeth. You're going to see this size ball of clay here? That's what we'll use for the tooth. And we're going to make one more, it's just like it. I'm going to make sure that they're the same size. So they are. And now what I want to do is actually I'll try to sculpt the tooth now. So what you want to do is push the, tooth, the thumb and forefinger there together. And then see how we're making the sharp point? Almost like we did, we did the teeth for the great white shark. And see that? See how it's nice and flat? And then it's got a nice point to it. And we'll make the other one in the same manner. We'll flatten that out. Then you take your fingers and make that nice little point, flat point. See how we just did that? And now what we'll do is we're going to take and put this back into the mouth or the mouth area. See how I just did that? I put that tooth back. And just go like that. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So we just did that. And it makes it look nice and scary. And another thing that I want to do to give it some like texture, I want to take the sculpting tool here, the one with the triangular head, and just kind of go like this. We'll make some lines in front like that. See how I'm doing that? Make another one, just like that. And then we'll do a few on the side. See how we're doing that? We'll do another one there. And then we can do some on the back. the sculpting tool and carve that out. Let's do that. Make it just take and squiggle a little bit like that. I'll do one more here. Then I think I'll do one more right here. I'll flip it around. Okay, so now we've given it some nice texture. And that is our scary ghost and how to make it. It is now ready for firing in the oven. And now that we've fired the scary Halloween ghost in the oven, it's now ready to be painted. What we're going to do is take these acrylic paints, there's 18 in this package which can be bought in any art store, and we're going to get several colors out. We're going to get the traditional white for the ghost, 
the black for the eyes, teeth, and the claws. We're going to get the red for the mouth. And it looks like that covers it. We only have a few basic colors that we'll be using. I'll show you the size brushes that we'll be using tonight. We're going to be using this brush here. This will be used for the body of the ghost in the arms to do the white. This size right here will be used to do the eyes and the claws and the teeth. And then I do want to have one other brush. I'll use this size brush here for doing the red mouth. We're going to take this red paint and I'm just going to go in and try to swish this around in here. See? Don't worry that we're getting some of the teeth. It is bound to happen but we can because we can cover that up with the black afterward. But I just want to get in there and just dab it Give it that nice red color. Let's see. So you got that. And you're gonna, gonna get the red. See I'm painting that. Just like that. See how we're doing that? Getting all that in there. Just like that. And then the next thing that we're going to do is I want to paint the black. We'll take this brush here. I'm going to take and put that in there, swish that around. And then we'll take and do the other eye. See how we just did that? Now we'll take, see, and I'm just going to switch it around like that. Just like that. See how nice that looks? And then I want to do the claws. See how this, I'm just going to just paint the claws. like that. And then we just want to make sure I paint behind it too. See that? Gives it a nice scary look when they're nice and black. That's a nice Halloween color. Then we'll that there. See how we're painting that? Makes it look nice. And then we'll paint the teeth. See how we're doing this? Just like that. Paint this other one black. See that? Just like that. It has a really nice effect. The next thing that we want to do is the white. I'll show you what we'll do there. So now we want to do the white. So you just go back and forth like this. See this? And then when you get near the red mouth with the black teeth, just try to be careful not to paint over what you just did. And you go up and down, up and down. See how we're doing this? Up and down, up and down. You're going to paint the arms white. 
See how we did that? Just like that, back and forth. Just like that. And then try, and then you can also use a smaller brush if you want to, for the claws up here. Because you don't want to get the white on the black. I'm just going to see, I'm just dabbing that ever so slightly to get it. it um, but that gives you an idea. You're going to do both arms in that manner. You're going to paint the top of the head. See right there. Just like that, just back and forth. Try not to get it in the eyes. Just get go close to it. See how I'm doing that? Then the center. See how that's being done? So I'll show you what the final ghost should look like when you're done. I'm going to show you. This is what the final version of the ghost will look like when it's done. See the nice black claws that we did up here? We did the nice black claws here, the black teeth with the red mouth, the black eyes, and see how we have all the white. So it came out pretty good, and that's your scary Halloween ghost. I do want to thank you for coming to Creations and Clay tonight, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.